Hi, welcome to my kitchen again. I am making a hamburger and a potato casserole today. Something great for the kids after school. Mom comes home from work. Dad comes in. Everybody's tired. Make this the night before if you want to. Toss it in the fridge. Uh, bring it out the next day or it takes 15 minutes really to put it together. <clears throat> So, it won't take long. So, I'm going to get busy here. I've got one pound of ground beef um, frying and one medium onion uh, cut up and it's in the pan frying. If I get the rest of this in there with it. Um, and this is a good hearty meal. The kids will love it too. Sometimes it's hard to get the kids to eat sometimes. Okay, now we're just going to fry this together until our hamburger uh, gets about, you know, halfway done or done. Just so our uh, onions get a little soft. And while that's happening, we're going to put in half a teaspoon of salt. And about a half a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of pepper. You know, do that according to your taste. If you guys don't use salt, don't use it. If you like more pepper, add more pepper. So let that stir up there and get together real good. Get that stirring. It doesn't take long to put it together. And once you get it put together, you can be talking to the kids about their day at school while it's baking. That's what's so nice about it. Then you're going to take a can of crema celery. Okay, don't splatter. Soup. And you're going to get that mixed in with your milk. Just takes a cup of milk and a can of soup and just kind of blend that together school's been going here for a while now and I don't know second I think it was the second or third day of school they canceled because they didn't have any school bus drivers I'll tell you just can't get people that want to work So, we're going to get our milk and our soup all mixed up. Get that all fixed together there. And you'll take um, one um, package of peas. If the kids don't like peas, use broccoli, use carrots, use whatever you guys like. You don't have to use what I say. Make it your own. Okay. There, yeah, I think that looks really good. I'm going to turn that off. Um, make it whatever you guys like. Whatever. You might even want corn instead. I don't know. My husband would prefer peas. I think I prefer broccoli. <laughs> but I love broccoli. I like peas. They're okay. I started laughing last night. I put my canner away. I said, well, okay, we're done. Canned my last batch of food last night. It was kind of sad, but I was glad to get it done. Okay, I think that's mixed up enough. Wouldn't be me if it didn't make a mess, would it? Okay, so now I'm going to take my skillet. Now I've got my oven preheating at 350. 
So bring this right over here. Like I said, it's a very simple, very, very simple dish. Very easy to put together and it's very good. I know you'll like it if you try it. And I'm pretty sure the kitties will like it. I think the kids will like it. So then we've got, all right, there's all we need. So we're going to take our casserole dish. Now, if you need more than one, you know, more than what I've got here, double the recipe. We're going to put a layer of ground beef in here. And onions in my dish. And then I am going to put a layer of, I think I'm going to use potatoes. I don't know why. I guess it don't really matter. Don't say how you put it together. Just do it. So I'm going to, my hands are clean. I'm going to put a layer of potatoes and slice your potatoes real thin. Or ask your husband to do it. My husband slices potatoes so nice and thin. So, of course, I asked him to slice them for me, and he did. So, we're going to have a nice, big, thick layer of potatoes. Mmm, yum, yum. This is going to really be good and hearty for you. Thanksgiving's right around the corner, so I guess we need some quick dishes for now. And... You know, a lot of times people will go to the friends or families for dinner and they won't have the traditional turkey or they might just have a small turkey and then they'll have other casseroles and dishes. And this is a casserole that you could take with you. Then we're going to add our peas. I got a little carrots in mine. But that's okay. That's uh, okay. You could just add your um, take this dish with you. Take no time to make it. They think you spent all day on it. This serves about five, six people. So if you're going to take it, you might want to double it. And then we'll just put our potatoes and stuff on it again. A lot of times, you know, if you make it bigger, then you'll have more layers. I think my potatoes were a little bit bigger than medium, but we're going to use them anyway. Her husband's like mine. He likes his potatoes. There. Got all of our potatoes in it. Now we're going to finish it out by adding our, the rest of our peas. And then I'm going to add uh, a little bit of parsley.
add some onion powder for on top. Now this is, this don't call for it, but I'm adding it in mine. This is the green blades on the onions. Okay, and then we're going to add our milk and our soup that we've mixed together. Just going to add that on top of it and just let it go right down into it and Here. And that is really all that is to it. That's all there is to it. And it's so good. And you're going to love it when you try it. So now we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake it for an hour. And then, then after that, I'll bring you all back and we'll taste it. And our dinner is ready. It looks yummy. It smells great. Now, just remember, we've got all of it in one dish. We've got our potatoes, our meat. We've got our peas. Mmm. Oh, yummy. Mm. Oh, does that look good? Smells good too. Smells really good. Okay. Doesn't that look good? You got your peas and your potatoes and your meat. Mm, everything right there. Have a bite of that potato. That looks so delicious. Mm. Mm. After you like scallop potatoes. You're going to love it. The potatoes taste like scalloped potatoes to me. I think that's because of the milk in the um, can of celery soup, which is delicious in there. Now, like I said, if you don't want carrots, and I have carrots and peas in mine, and if you don't want that, put broccoli in it. Put any vegetable in it you want. And just remember, it's delicious. Mm. Okay. I'm done. Mm. But that is really a good meal. Good meal, good meal. And if it's not all eight, put it in a little container and take it to work with you tomorrow. Or leftovers for tomorrow night. I know that would be good too. But this is a really, really good quick meal. Now, I had it in the oven for about 
uh, 35 minutes, but um, it depends on everybody's oven. So try it. Let us know what you think about it. I know you're going to like it. And um, the family will love it. But make it your own recipe, okay? And we'll be looking forward to seeing what you think of it. Love you guys, and thank you bunches for staying with us. <music>